So one thing to get your dog used to like things they shouldn't be getting used to, right? So I'm dusting right now. Yes, dusting the house. And Justice ran over and tried to attack the duster. So I cracked at him. And now um, I'm gonna like tease him with it because it's a good opportunity to teach him he can't be just grabbing anything that's in my hand that's cloth-like or, or and you guys get the point, right? So. If he doesn't grab it, he's getting praised. If he grabs it, he's getting um, corrected. So I'm just gonna kinda put it right here. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, that's a good boy, Justice. Good boy. For every moment in the house or out and about, whatever, whenever you're with your dog, essentially, it's a moment to teach them what you want them to do or a moment to screw up and accidentally teach them what you don't want them to do. So even adult dogs, guys, you are training them 24 seven when you're with them, um, especially when it comes to house manners. So just try to remember that. It makes life like so much easier handling things like that with a puppy. This dude's still looking for the love of his life. Can't help you, bro, can't help you. I am going to do a little bit of experimenting and train Justice with a prong collar. Eventually I'm gonna do a e-collar um, but I'm gonna work on heel with Justice. I've been working on Justice, let's go. Good boy. He knows let's go. I've been working on heel a little bit with him. Jeez, he stuck to me like Luke. Come here. Justice, let's go. Good boy. Turn off. Let's show them. So I've been working on heel with him. Nothing serious, but when I'm walking with Bruce in the heel, I'll kinda, you know, have him on the heel um, with his harness, and you know, he does like to pull. And then I have to give a quick like little collar pop. And with a prong collar. It's not really one prong. I wish it was a little bit tighter. Um, you want the prong collar right behind the ears. Um, one prong, two less is too small. So I actually have a smaller one in order. But I'm just giving this a quick experiment because I rather use less pressure um, when I'm training a dog than more. And a prong collar actually you have to use less pressure typically because um, they understand it more. So let's try this out. Justice over here, buddy. Come here. Over here. God, boy. Get it on the proper side, fitted properly. Let's see how this goes. Be very gentle with him and with everything I do. Justice, heel. Good heel. I didn't want him facing that way, but whatever. Justice, heel. Good heel. Good heel. I'm gonna do a quick turn over this way. Good heel. Good heel, Justice. And I'm gonna be constantly praising him. I turn, he turns, good heel. Barely any pressure. He just felt the latch lift up and he stopped. And guys, this is literally the first time he's worn a good boy, a prong collar. And look at this, Justice, heel, good boy. And you see he was looking for my foot, he's looking at me, Justice, heel. I'm gonna be fair with him, he's still a puppy, so he's gonna be a little bit distracted easily. That way, I'd, you know. Good boy, Justice, good boy. I have no treats, um, I'm just training him off praise. Good boy, really gentle touches and tickles. Justice, come on buddy. Heel, good heel, good heel. I'm gonna keep this session short. I wanna, and then successes. Heel, good boy, good boy. Good boy, look at this guys, this is amazing. Good boy, and he's looking at me for the leadership. Justice, heel, good heel, good heel. Oh my God. I am so pumped by this guys, you don't even understand because with a harness being 40 pounds, he's pretty strong when he pulls. So I'm gonna take this off him now, and then a positive note. Good boy, buddy. That was amazing. I'm gonna bring him over here, give him a toy to play with. Come here, buddy. Justice, what you want? What you want? You want this? Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. There you go. That was awesome. That was amazing. Oh, man, I'm pumped. So that went amazing. And I do, as I said many times, this dude's heavy, yeah. I am gonna train this guy eventually, like 90% sure, um, with an e-collar, but 
you can't really train with an e-collar until you first train the dog to do something. They, they gotta understand the command before you put the e-collar on them. Prong collars are a little bit different. Prong collars are just an extension, just like e-collars of my voice. An extension, another way to communicate with the dogs. That was literally the first time he wore a prong collar. And as you can tell, I wasn't using very much pressure at all. I wasn't doing any corrections with him. Um, if anything, he would correct himself. So for example, if I turned and he decided to walk the other way, it would put some pressure on him and it would give him his own correction. And I am like so proud. Like you can see right away the level of communication between him and myself because of the prong collar. I know they're scary looking guys. I know a lot of people are against prong collars, but prong collars, e-collars, those are amazing tools to be able to train your dog with, build that level of communication. And that's what we did with Bruce Wayne. He was, uh, we trained him with a prong collar. And a lot of people say wait to six months. Um, he's already over 40 pounds at 13 weeks. Some people say between three months and four months you can start using them. It's all over the place. It's basically what you feel is best for you and your dog. Don't use a prong collar until you understand how to use them. I'm kind of like crouching down here, so resting him on my knee. Sorry if I look uncomfortable. Do you guys like this? Uh, do you guys like this Bruce Wayne shirt? It's pretty awesome. Um, you guys can grab one in the merch box below. Tons of different colors. I can't be happier with how that first session went. Yes, I'm gonna call that a session. It was what, two minutes long? He's a puppy. I want everything to be as positive as possible. Like 95, 98% positivity. So before he had any failures, I cut it off. I cut the session off. Um, he's very curious. His attention spans short. So I am just going to Probably now that that worked, I ordered a smaller prong collar It'll from Chewy. It'll be here tomorrow. I'm definitely gonna start working with him more on a prong collar. Um, he already understood heel somewhat. Now with the prong collar, it's gonna be even easier to get him to understand that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my 13-week-old uh, puppy, Joey Justice, and myself signing off. Bruce Wayne's upstairs, still being a salty sausage because he's uh, missing the love of his life. He doesn't even know the love of his life. He's probably smelling a coyote around here, according to all you guys. I just urge you guys, please be open-minded with this video. I know a lot of you may not like prong collars, but that is why Bruce Wayne is trained so well. I use a prong collar. I was never abusive with it. Um, I was always fair to the dog, and just like I'm gonna be with Joey Justice. All right, I gotta put him down, he's heavy. Look at this dude. Do you guys want a, uh, a video with um, all of Justice's weights I've been recording? I don't want to put too much emphasis on it because everyone wants to shop for a large dog. And, you, you know, that's why I'm not really sharing his weight a lot. Just because it's not what you should be shopping for. I mean, you should be shopping for health and temperament first and foremost. And then I don't want, I don't like it when people message me and like, oh, my dog's not getting that big. I need to feed them more. And then you're just going to hurt your dog because you're going to overfeed them. It's going to hurt their joints. Even if I share them, you can't compare because every dog grows at a different rate. Dogs within a litter, all dogs within a litter are going to grow at a different rate. Bruce Wayne had really weird growth spurts, much different than a lot of his litter mates. If you guys just want like a fun, non-serious video on that, let me know and I'll put that together. All right. Jason, Corey, Joey, Justice, and um, Bruce Wayne upstairs signing off. Thanks for watching, guys. And again, please be mindful in the comments and just be open-minded to prong collars. They're not evil like some people make them out to be, as long as you use them properly. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Love y'all. Everything I'm associated with in the description box below. My merch, my ebook, and a bunch of training courses. And those training courses, you get 10% off using the link with code Jason. Also down there is a link for Justice's and Bruce's harnesses, leashes, the hammers they're always using. And again, use those links with code Jason, 10% off. All right, guys, talk to you later. Peace. It's getting heavy. Getting thumbnails suck sometimes when your puppy's getting really heavy.